basically, this is actually my title of operation handling. So the one that you see uh, in the email, okay, it's part of this presentation. But on top of that, uh, I add in some more introductions, which actually uh, form my presentation today. So occlusions, um, they are in videos, surveillance, okay, that's one of the technology that is currently developing is on object tracking. Meaning that you want to track uh, throughout the videos where the object has been. Okay? There are many applica applications for object tracking, such as gesture recognition, and also GAMS, and also surveillance videos. For example, like Kinex, okay? um, one of the technologies uh, used in the Kinex where they use human as a joystick to play the game, they should change of the object. Let's say for example a person, if they might turn the direction, so that actually caused the size of the object to change. Okay, so this is how they detect occlusions. So there are also non-software best solutions for occlusion handling, because if we uh, install the what do you call that uh, a video's camera, okay, so let's say parallel to the parallel to the uh, what do you call that to the pedestrian, then we may, when the uh, when the people walk around, then that might cause a lot of uh, occlusions. However, if we put the camera at a higher location, okay, and view down, so that might reduce uh, the occlusion problem. Okay, of course, there's another uh, option which is we can use multiple camera, okay, using different type of uh, method proposed by previous researchers, okay, and then when we look at another method is that existing tracking method versus the occlusion severity, okay, when you can actually handle the occlusions. Okay? So here you can see that P is for partial occlusion and F is for full occlusions. So among all here that we have here, you can see that most of them can only handle partial occlusion and only two here can actually um, handle full occlusions. Okay, videos, okay, simulation videos to actually to try out Okay, the existing tracking method to see whether it really works or not. So here we have these are actually 64. How do we get the 64 videos? The simulation video is we have set number one. Set number one meaning that we use a sphere okay, moving in these directions here as shown by the arrows. Okay, overall we use eight directions. And each of these directions here we will actually simulate four videos. Okay, one video is that we do not put any occlusions in the videos. Number two is that we put a small occlusion. Number two, three is we put a portal occlusion, meaning that the occlusion object size is similar to the, uh, the tracking object size. The video so okay, this is non-uniform. So meaning that when the object moves, it will move from left until the, to the center of the frame, and then the goal will change directions. Okay. And then the red is another one. So it changes the different directions. Okay. So that actually shows the the videos. So the overlap ratio, meaning that what do we do is that because remember the video that we have here is actually uh, a simulation video. So we can through the simulation we can calculate the actual position of the objects. Okay? We know the actual position of the objects. So using the actual position of the objects and compare it with the um, what do you call? Uh, compare it with the track object position because during the tracking the tracking operator will actually uh, write an output to a text file to tell us where the, is the position of the objects challenges that we have during the pushes, okay which is the size of the object change how to differentiate between the either is a motion or is it a shape change when a full occlusion object uh, occurred, how to measure with carry object? Okay, and also we need to uh, differentiate how to tell between either an object is occluded or is it exiting the screen. Okay, so just to add on to that, let me show you a few example. So this is our main shift tracking here. So you can see here. So when the object reappears first appear, it only shows the top part of the sphere. 
where the color is what you call that, where you have light shed on it, so it will be lighter color just now. So when the whole sphere appears, because due to segmentation problems and also during the training test, it will not be able to pack the bottom parts, which is the, the area with shadows, into considerations. So that is what we've mentioned about uh, segmentation just now. So <coughs> that's all for my presentation. Thank you.